Welcome to the All Around Joe Podcast, where we optimize your human performance from my personal experience as an athlete, coach, and all-around self-improvement junkie. On this edition of the All Around Joe Podcast, I am going to be talking with you about three simple steps to weight loss. The reason that I wanted to talk about this subject is because I have people ask me all the time about how they can get started with losing some weight or being in better shape, and a lot of times they complicate it or they make it sound like it's way harder than it actually is. So I've come up with three simple steps that people can focus on in order to start getting the ball rolling. And I may turn this into a series where you can do these three simple steps for the next month or so, and then you can move on to the next edition here and get things more and more complicated as you make them a part of your life. All right, right now I'm in Utah hanging out at a ski resort. So that's where I'm coming at you right now, not in the van today. But if you guys wanna follow along with where I'm at, make sure that you check out The Fantastic Life on Instagram or Facebook, and you can see exactly where we're, where we're out playing right now. Before I jump into these three simple steps that are gonna be super simple, super duper simple. In fact, this might be one of my shorter podcasts as of lately because they're so simple. So make sure that you listen along and also make sure that if you have questions, you ask them because I wanna be able to answer, I wanna be able to get you the most results that you possibly can and you can Submit your questions on the show notes page. That's ideal for me. So that's allaroundjoe.com slash 148. That's allaroundjoe.com slash 148. Or put them, if you're watching this, down in the YouTube comment section. That would work as well. And if you are super scared about giving comments, then you can always email me at joe at allaroundjoe.com. Oh yeah. Okay, before we get into this podcast, I want to make sure that I mention the people that help me to keep this podcast going. So the partners that I have on this podcast are number one, the company that has made the biggest impact on my life in probably the last 10 years, Inside Tracker. Okay, InsideTracker.com. What they are, in a nutshell, is a company that helps you to optimize your life via blood tests. Okay, and don't get too scared right now. Um, It only takes about 15 minutes. You can go to a blood testing place that's in your area and then about three days later, based off of your internals, okay, so that what's going on inside your body, the blood doesn't lie is their motto there. Based off of what they find out, they will give you a readout of what you should be eating, how your activity level should be, and the supplements you should be taking in order to optimize your blood markers, okay? My story is that I thought I was optimizing everything. If you've been listening to this podcast for any amount of time, you know that I try and track as many things as I can, optimize as much of my life as possible to get the best right results possible, and then I share those results with you. I thought I was completely optimized a few years ago before I tried Inside Tracker, and what I learned is that I was not. I was eating way too much red meat. My body happens to store iron really easily, and when it stores iron so much, it overloads me and makes me feel like I don't have enough energy. But I didn't realize that, that until I changed based off of what Inside Tracker recommended. What they recommended for me was actually to drop out all the red meat and eat a lot more carbohydrates. When I did that, my energy levels went through the roof, and I actually lost about 10 pounds of body fat in the first month. So I completely was leaning up by eating more carbohydrates and less red meat. Pretty interesting. And probably what people would not expect that they needed to do in order to lean up or have more energy. So I highly recommend that everybody check out Inside Tracker. It is very comprehensive. I use it every three to six months in order to make sure that I'm in tip top condition. And you can get yourself 10% off by using the code All Around Joe. You can even go to my Inside Tracker page by going to allaroundjoe.com slash inside tracker. All right, the next company that I want to talk about is Body Health. Now, the perfect aminos of Body Health are something I take about three times a day. I take about 10 to 20 to even 30 of their uh, perfect amino pills. So I highly recommend that people throw these into their life. I take them instead of protein shakes. So I pop 10 of these pills before my workout and then I do not have a protein shake at all. If I need more carbohydrates, I might have a bar, okay? I might have like a cliff bar 
or an RX bar after my workout. But I pop 10 of these pills, that's what I use for recovery, that's what I'm taking. So I highly recommend that you check them out. You can get a discount by using the code allaroundjoe. You go to bodyhealth.com and use the code allaroundjoe, or you can go to allaroundjoe.com slash perfectamino. Both of those will get you to the place that you need to be. And lastly, guys, I didn't see any response on this one, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it around, but Audible. Audible is my favorite app on my iPhone, and Audible, partnered with me in order to give you guys a free audiobook. So if you go to allaroundjoe.com slash audible, you can get yourself a free audiobook. So let me know if you like this, if you don't like this, because I think it's the best thing ever, but nobody has really been taking advantage of this free audiobook. So if you don't like it, let me know as well. Go to allaroundjoe.com slash audible to get yourself a free audiobook. If you need a recommendation of what audiobooks you should be listening to, I can give you Ah, hundreds of them probably. So I listen to Audible almost every single day. It is probably the most used app on my phone. And I hope that you get yourself learning and using Audible too. So let's get on to the podcast and the three steps for weight loss that are gonna make your life way easier. And like I said, people tend to complicate this way too much. I talk to people all the time and they're like, hey, you know, maybe you can help me out. Or I'm like, they will say something like, I wish I could get myself in shape. And I was like, I can help you to do that. And they're like, well, you know, I know I need to lower, lower my carbohydrates. I need to stop eating sugar. I need to go to the gym. I need to do, you know, this exercise, that exercise. I need to do all of these things. They'll get, list out like 20 different things they need to do. And they make it so complicated that it is obviously something that they're not going to implement because they don't have a life change that they can jump right into. Now, that would work if you guys said, hey, you came and lived with me for a month or something like that. And if you jumped into my lifestyle and just started following what I'm doing, then you take over all of those habits that I have and it would be easy for you to jump into that. But in your normal lifestyle, you're not going to take on these 20 different habits that are going to be exactly like the things that I'm doing if you need to just get yourself started. So let's talk about three things that you can do in order to just jumpstart your weight loss or fat loss, however you like to say it, immediately. Okay, just three things. Let's not overcomplicate it. Let's just change three things about your routine in order to get you some results right away. How's that sound? It seems like it's a great way of doing things to me. So we're going to go ahead and have you try and change these three things if you need to lose any weight. The first thing is going to be eating food in an eight hour window. Okay, that's it. So from 12 p.m to 8 p.m. during the day is the only time that you're gonna eat your food. If it's outside of that time frame, all you're gonna do is you can have water, coffee, or tea. And the coffee or tea cannot have anything in it. It is completely black coffee or tea without anything added to it. So that's all you get is a 12 hour or an eight hour window from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can adjust that if your sleep schedule is different. Like let's say that you're a late night person, you can do from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Or if you're going to sleep really early, you could do, you know, a 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Whatever, that's fine, all right? And I recommend that that eating window is towards the end of your day, not towards the front half of your day. So if you wake up at 6 a.m. and go to sleep at 10 p.m. I want it to be closer to the 10 p.m. that you stop your eating. You can make the window a little bit smaller, like to six hour. If you really wanted to push those limits, that'd be completely fine. But this is just the step number one, is all you're gonna do is you're gonna give yourself a eating window of eight hours, okay? That's it. We're gonna talk about dietary changes that you can make of the actual food that you're eating in a next part of the series, okay? So right now, as far as food goes, as far as nutrition goes, all you're doing is thinking about eating what you would normally eat in that eight hour window. If you feel like eating food that you know is gonna be healthier, go for it. But all we're gonna be focusing on is that eight hour window. Next up, movement, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna start lifting weights three days a week, okay? lifting weights three days a week. I even put together the, the lifts or the movements that I want you to do, okay? Lifting weights is gonna raise your metabolism. You're actually going to burn fat or lose weight faster by lifting weights, okay? And a lot of people think, oh, I need to be doing cardio, and we're gonna throw cardio, and it's gonna be the third step. So the three things that you're gonna actually be doing are eating an eight-hour window, lifting weights, and doing cardio. That's it. 
All right, and I'm gonna give you exactly what I need you and want you to be doing so that you can just follow along with these three easy things. But the weightlifting is gonna be very important and what we're gonna do is we're gonna need the weightlifting because it's gonna stimulate your muscles, it's gonna stimulate your hormones, it's gonna burn more body fat. A lot of times people think weight loss and they don't see the scale go down immediately in the first month, but they're burning through body fat and they quit. If they're burning through body fat though and their body is actually looking leaner, who cares about how much weight you're actually losing? I know there are people listening here that are like, oh, I need to actually lose weight and that's cool, but you need to have the weightlifting be a component of your life that you do forever. All right, so it has to be a habit that you create so that you can have the results that you want here. So it is the second most important thing here that you're gonna be doing. And the weightlifting that I want you to be doing is also very easy to follow. If you go to the show notes here at allaroundjoe.com slash 148, I'm gonna have videos of all of these movements so that you can look at the technique that you should be using for the movements. The technique is paramount, guys. I need you to be using as close as possible to perfect form because is it possible to get injured? It is, it totally is. It's also possible for you to get in a car accident, it's possible for you to hurt yourself as you're walking down the street. So weightlifting is not gonna be any more injury prone if you're doing it correctly than anything else that you're doing. So don't get in your mind, oh, well, weightlifting is gonna be bad for me. It's actually good for everybody. I would, my grandma, grandpa, parents, whatever, I give them weightlifting prescriptions. Everybody should be doing this. If you're doing anything in your daily life, you need to have a weightlifting component in it. It just helps to train you in a better way than cardio or whatever, right? But cardio is a component, so we're gonna be talking about that. The movements that I want you to be doing, okay, are you're gonna do three warm-up sets for each movement, and you're gonna be doing three working sets for each movement of eight to 12 repetitions, all right? And those repetitions, you're gonna be getting as close to failure as possible, but I want to make sure that you're doing things that feel okay for your body. If the muscles are burning, that's fine, but if it feels wrong in the joints, I want you to step back and make sure that the things that you're doing are proper technique, and if you need to, I would ask that you would hire a professional in order to help you if you're getting really weird pain that you don't think you should be getting, okay? Make sure also that you have your doctor's approval to be doing anything that I have advised because I am not a doctor, I'm not an attorney, I am just giving you stuff based off of my experience that has worked for hundreds and if not thousands of people that I've worked with, okay? So make sure that you're using the proper medical advice if you're gonna be doing this. The, extra, the movements that I want you to be doing are back squats, okay? What's a back squat? It's just something that has loaded up your, your body on the back and you're doing a full squat or as full as you can possibly do, keeping your spine in a neutral position. The next is deadlift, okay? Actually, I should say why. The back squat we're gonna do is because anytime you sit down on the toilet to take a crap, you are doing a back squat, okay? Anytime you sit up and down out of your car, anytime you get on the couch, you're doing a squat. All right, and if a back squat's too hard, you can just do an air squat, that's fine, but I want you to be loaded up as, as much as possible, as soon as possible, because it's gonna help your body to adapt faster. The next thing's gonna be deadlift, and this is just picking up a bar off the ground or picking a weight up off of the ground, that's a deadlift, while keeping your spine neutral or straight the whole time. This one is very common for people to bend over and round their backs. We don't want that, we want your back to stay flat. If you are the type of person that usually rounds your back when you bend over, this is gonna be great for you because you're gonna teach yourself to use a flat back in everything that you're doing in daily life. It shouldn't just be when you're deadlifting. A deadlift is you picking anything up off of the ground. Think groceries, think a pencil, think a child, whatever. If you see those backs rounding on yourself or anybody around you, they're not using proper form and you should zap them, all right? Electrical volts are good for in this position. You want to <laughs> make sure that people are using proper form, proper technique for these movements. It is incredibly important. Uh, bench press, this could also be a push-up or a wall push-up if these things are hard. You're just loading the pushing uh, muscles of your body, all right? Simply that, again, form is paramount. Overhead press, so pushing up overhead with a barbell, a dumbbell, it doesn't matter, okay? You just need to find an object that you can do three more up sets and three sets of eight to 12 reps, ideally close to failure with. Could be a can, right? Doesn't matter what it is. 
um, all of these things. So you could do back squats with a barbell, deadlifts with the barbell, bench press with the barbell, overhead press with the barbell, and then the last movement is going to be a pull-up or assisted pull-up. So we just need to be training the muscles that you are using for pulling here, all right? And assisted is fine. You could even use a band that is attached to something and you're just pulling down. We just need to train that big lat muscle that you have on your back. Those are the movements. That's it. It's only five movements. You're going to do three warm-up sets and then three sets of eight to 12 repetitions as close to failure as you can well without feeling an amazing amount of pain or discomfort that is not muscular burn, all right? You're gonna, like I said, three warm-up sets, three working sets of eight to 12 repetitions, all right? And you're going to look at proper technique for all of the movements before you do them, unless you are some sort of professional and you know how to do this already, which I'm doubting that that's you if you're going to be doing this program. You can find the videos that I'm going to be posting for each of these movements at allaroundjoe.com slash 148. That's allaroundjoe.com slash 148. Now, the third or last part of this three-part this three parts to your weight loss success are going to be, the third part is going to be doing cardio three times per week for 20 minutes or more. What this means is it's just cardiovascular training. So a lot of times people run into, I want to lose weight, so they go on a diet and they do cardio or they just do cardio. And that is not an effective way of actually having the best results. You need to have a dietary component, you need to have a strength training component, and you need to have a cardiovascular component ideally, okay? Cardiovascular means that you're going to be sustaining this, a, a, that energy source or that pace for those 20 particular minutes, or at least that's what I want you to be doing in order to get the best results from this particular program or three steps. So what you're going to be looking at doing is walking or uphill walking or hiking or running or swimming or bike riding. It really doesn't matter. You just have to have this sustained effort. If you want to get more technical about it, you could look for a heart rate above 130 or between like 130 and 160 while you're doing this. So it's a sustained effort. And if for those of you that have not done a lot, maybe just walking for 20 minutes would be fine or uphill walking, go find a hill to walk up for 20 minutes, or a treadmill to walk on for 20 minutes that is going to have some sort of sustained, that you're going to be able to sustain for 20 plus minutes, okay? Start off with 20 minutes in the first week, then go to 25 minutes the second week, 30 minutes, or go 20 minutes the first week, and then 21 minutes the second week. It doesn't. I don't want you to focus on the details as much. The only details that I'm really concerned about are the details that you use for the weightlifting to make sure that you have proper form. But do not take this component out of it because you're like, oh, I don't want to hurt myself. You need to learn these things. As a human being, you have to learn them. So eight-hour eating window, weight training, cardiovascular training, okay? You're doing the weight training three days per week on non-consecutive days. You're doing the cardio three days per week any days that you want. They could be the same on the weight lifting days. They could be different, okay? Just the non-consistent consecutive weight lifting days are because you're doing those exact five movements three times per week. So ideally, I wanna give yourself a day of recovery on those in between the days that you're gonna be doing the weight lifting, all right? That is all you're gonna be doing, those three steps. That is it. If you have any questions, like I said, I want you to let me know at allaroundjoe.com slash 148 in the comment section below. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you could also put those in the comments below in YouTube. And then lastly, if you cannot handle that and you need to email me, you can do so by emailing me at joe at allaroundjoe.com. Okay, guys. If you want to even get more from what I'm doing right now, I have this really fun email newsletter that I'm sending out every Friday. It's called Feel Good Friday. And what it is, is it's a list of things that I've encountered throughout the week. It's usually something that's like fun stuff, interesting stuff, delicious stuff. So if I've been eating stuff really tasty, could be stuff that I'm making or could be restaurants that I'm going out to or things that we're putting together from Trader Joe's, whatever. Could be cool hikes that I've, that I've gone on that I recommend that you go on. This is an email list that you can get on really simply by going to allaroundjoe.com right there in the middle 
there's an opt-in form. Just give me your name and your email and you will start to get the Feel Good Friday, Feel Good Friday emails on Friday. Really super simple, it's fun stuff, I love writing them. It's a chance that I get to you know, talk about the books that I'm reading or the podcasts that I'm listening to so that you can check them out as well. I just published one for, I'm recording this on a Thursday and I usually write it on Thursday so it goes out really early on Friday morning and I just published one or just put one in the system that's gonna go out on Friday morning that has a really, really cool podcast episode on fasting. So stuff that I had never really known about before, but check that out, allaroundyou.com, sign up for the Feel Good Friday emails. And if you love this podcast, I'd love it if you give me a review on iTunes, and I'm at like 63, I think, right now, 63 five-star reviews. So every five-star review that I get helps me to get this podcast out to more people. I want to get it out to more people so I can help more people. So I'd really appreciate that. Sign up for my Feel Good Friday emails, allaroundyou.com. Head over to iTunes. If you need help on getting there, you can get there by going to allaroundyou.com slash iTunes. And then you just follow the review settings, all right? Please, if you're going to give me a review, it, uh, write it out. Give me the full review. I know that it does help if you just click on the, the stars, but the full reviews are cool if you really get something out of this podcast, like I hope that you do. All right, guys. Like I said, check out those sponsors that I had of the show, InsideTracker.com. Use the code AllAroundJoe. Audible. Go to AllAroundJoe.com slash Audible to get yourself a free a free audiobook, which is awesome. And then if you want to recover faster, go to bodyhealth.com, use code all around Joe to get yourself a discount. All right. Like I said, let me know if you need anything. I'll be here for you. The All Around Joe Podcast, where we optimize your human performance from my personal experience as an athlete, coach, and all around self-improvement junkie. I will see you on the next podcast.